Sometimes one aspect of your game plan can determine whether you win or you lose. Taxes are simply that important. They are, they will be, your single biggest cost over your lifetime. And although they may seem boring or overly complex, they need to have a specific plan to address your taxes. Thinking of buying rental property in Italy can be daunting and overwhelming. Where does one start? Over the years, I have developed and created a list in my mind of few steps and a guide for my clients that I would like to share with you with this video. I hope that the following list serve you as a starting point in your venture into owning and operating rental real estate in Italy for the very first time. I would say number one is make a goal. Set a deadline to the purchase for your first rental and stay committed. Let friends and family know your goal, write it down and set sure concise deadlines for conducting a property search and making a decision rather than vogue and open goals like, well, buy rental by 2025. However, make sure you set manageable goals that you can meet. Then I would say start shopping. Just get out and start looking at rental properties. Hire two or more real estate agents or work with other investors to send your leads into a market you're considering. And once you start looking, you'll get more motivated. Then of course, develop a spreadsheet. A well done spreadsheet for analyzing your prospective properties is crucial. You should set four criteria to rank the properties by rent rates, operating cost, debt service, property management, etc. And create an ultimate annual estimate return on investment calculation for each of the properties you are considering. By determining this break-even point, you can then compare it against the other properties and options in your investment portfolio. Of course, look at lots of properties. Take your time and look of plenty of properties. There is no rush. I tell clients again and again, there will always be a deal next week. Follow your gut, you know what I mean? And don't get sucked into a deal you don't feel good about. Make an offer and start your due diligence. Once you find a property that fits the bill, make an offer balanced on your due diligence. And if you don't like the deal, just get out. Don't get emotionally attached to a transaction you're not positive about. So do more due diligence. Look at property from every angle. Read books and talks to others about nightmare experiences so you can look for similarities and spot any possible problems in your own transactions. Be patient and don't get discouraged. Be open-minded. Once you're happy with your due diligence and the property looks like a no-brainer, start reviewing documents and move towards closing. Before forming, for example, a limited company, an SRL, which I recommend to hold rentals for several properties because outside protection, you know, it's critical. Suddenly, don't do your first deal on your own. Set up a consultation with your CPA or tax attorney so you can discuss the matter and get help reviewing the everything, your documents if necessary. Track expenses. Keep track of everything for tax purposes. This includes the cost you incur before you close the closing statements, and the expenses afterward. Everything related to the purchase and management of the property is potentially a tax write-off. And the last one, well, manage the property, the tenants, and your property manager. In summary, this property won't run itself. Stay involved, take lots of pictures regularly, keep good records of your tenants and your property managers. And if you're using one, Visit the property regularly. Those are excellent. There are excellent books, online education, in-person training consultants and coaches who can help you learn how to properly manage your property in Italy without having to learn their how way by making unnecessary mistakes.